Okay, guys. Hey, welcome to the introductory video of our at-home workouts. Um, first, I want to say, hey, we've had a, a really good off-season. You know, we we didn't choose this situation, um, but we need to make the best of it, um, and we need to keep working. All right, because uh, we've had a lot of gains, and we need to uh, keep working to make sure we maintain at least maintain those gains, if not stronger. Because um, there's no reason that we should not be able to get stronger uh, through the next uh, couple weeks or maybe even longer than that. So, okay. And then, as you'll see through these workouts, and I'll, I'll I'll walk you through it here. Uh, our workout every day will begin with a dynamic warm up. Um, we're keeping our same four day split, upper, lower, upper, lower. Working uh, sprints and agilities and different things on different days. Um, so these workouts, you. You know, I've created two of them, one for if you have weights and one if you have not. Now, this this could be a little bit different. Uh, uh, this could be the challenge right here because some of you will have may have great equipment to use uh, and get through these workouts. Some of you may have some equipment. Some of you may have none. So we're going to walk and talk and uh, get through this as best we can because there are different ways that we can do this uh, to make sure every one of us get a good workout okay okay guys so like I said uh, this is the full week's workout all right Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday and Friday um, and every day uh, the dynamic warm-up needs to happen and I will I've, I'll attach this video I know a lot of you guys have done this these this warm-up um, but some of you may have just forgot okay so I'll have a, a video on here that you know will show you each one of these exercises but going back to the Monday workout, now you'll notice access to weights, and then there's another one with no access to weights, all right? You see the workout does change a little bit um, from your sets and reps and exercises, but the plyos and sprints that we have down here on Monday do not change for each one, okay? All right, so let's talk about the, the exercises that we got going here. Uh, Monday, we got bench press, you know, four sets of five, and this is if you have equipment. All right, you're start at 70% of your one rep max. You can do a warm up, all right, but we want to be right around that 70% of what your one rep max, and then we're going to go up five to 10 pounds depending on if you get all the reps or not. Now, here's this is where it gets a little bit different because when our team workouts, we got a spotter. You may not have a spotter, all right. So you got to be smart about this. You if you can't go to failure, don't go to failure, all right. Be smart about it. So, all right. Adjust your workouts after that. Then you got sets and reps here and the different uh, exercises, you know, sets of eight. This is, again, this is an ideal world with, you know, weights that challenge you. Um, sets of eight on curls, incline sets of six, bent over shoulder raises, sets of eight, military sets of eight, tricep extension sets of eight, resistance jumps, that's with weight and without weight, sets of five. So you see that, you know, in the, and again, in an ideal world, you can adjust your weight accordingly to the weight that challenges you may like I say the dumbbell incline you may only have you know a set of 30 pound dumbbells okay so obviously sets of six is not going to get you a good workout all right you may have to manipulate your sets and reps here all right to make because the, the overall uh, goal is is to get some muscular fatigue going all right so we can break down those muscle fibers and then have them rebuild all right through rest Okay, okay, now this part of the workout is obviously has no access to weights. And I'm talking nothing. Um, now, some of you may have some of this stuff, some of you may not have any of it. So maybe, maybe you have a bench press, and maybe you have a little bit of weight. Um, uh, maybe you have a couple dumbbells, but that's about it, you know. Um, you don't have anywhere to do tricep extensions or anything like that. So there might be a, a mix and match type of deal here. So. But you can see on Monday, again, we're, we're focusing on the chest uh, and, you know, shoulders and triceps. Push-ups, you know, obviously, you know, with, with doing body weight, you're going to have to manipulate the reps a little bit to get, you know, what we want, muscular fatigue. So um, I got five sets of 20 on here of just regular push-ups. And then I got two sets, two extra sets where you're doing as many as you can. So this sets of 20 might be your max, uh, but you may be able to do more than that. You may not be able, be able to do 20, all right, either way. All right, but so you're, you're looking at a total of seven sets right here of, of push-ups. Chair dips, all right? Now this is, you can, you can use chairs to do dips. You can use uh, a lot of different things to do dips. All right, just turn them uh, uh, so that the, the backs are facing each other and you can do chair dips, great exercise right here. 
uh, lateral raises, all right? And I'm talking shoulder raises here and where you can use any resistance that you can find. Um, you can use gallon uh, jugs. Uh, you can use, you know, books. You, there's all kinds of things that you can do use to, uh, to, to do lateral raises, okay? And then try to find any, any way to do curls or tricep extension. Curls, obviously, you know, with, uh, you know, full range of motion and tricep extension you can do overhead uh, with any, literally any resistance. Uh, find a backpack, fill it with books, uh, anything, okay? Be inventive, okay? Be inventive on this stuff. But again, you get down to the plyos and sprints. This is the same for both of you have weights or you don't have weights, okay? Plyos, guys, we have all done this. We've been doing this for a long time. All right, there's no boxes. There's no equipment needed here. Um, and I would suggest that you do these on grass if, if available. Uh, <clears throat> I know it's a little wet outside, but um, it's a little softer surface. But you can also do it on the concrete. That's fine. All right, but double leg bounds. You know, I get approximately 10 yards each one of these. Double leg bounds, single leg bounds, right and then left. Um, skips per height, two times. Slalom, we're working width and distance. And then alternate leg bounds where every step is a jump or hanging in the air. That one could go a little bit longer than 10 yards. And then our sprints and our, and this, our sprints, we have 80 yards on, on here, uh, 60 yards, 50 yards. You may not have access to a straightaway of 80 yards and that's okay. These are not set in stone. Um, but the big thing is, is we want to, on Mondays, we want to elongate our strike. We want to get out there um, and we want to uh, stride out. Okay. We're working speed on this day. So, Get out there. I know this isn't a terrible load or a huge load here, but it, it, it's, it's enough for right now. Now, with all this being said, you can do, you can manipulate these, any of these, any of these sets and reps. If you want to do extra, that's fine. Okay. If you want to do some different uh, types of plyos, if you have access to box jumps, things like that, that's fine. If you want to do different uh, types of, of, of sprints, longer, shorter starts, you know, that's fine. All right. Let's try to keep it within the, the uh, where we have this as far as upper and sprinting linear stuff here because you can see on Tuesday we're going to do a lot more change of direction stuff okay okay and the last thing guys uh I you know we weren't we weren't you know we didn't choose this situation so we want to make the best out of this and we can actually use this as kind of a, a team building um we'd like to see you post all right we'd like to see you post um post it to the the, the football uh uh twitter page okay uh uh tag each other all right we like to see you you know video each other tag them and uh let's see if we can't get this thing going because i really think this can end up being a very positive thing for our football team um feel free to reply feel free to contact me you can text me uh, call me email me um direct message me on twitter that's fine um do whatever you need to do um but uh, we'll make i'll be making some more videos pretty much daily about the, the, the day, the workout that's going on that day. Uh, so so we're, we're clear on everything we need, needs to happen. All right. All right. Good luck. Go Falcons.
stretch. <laughs> no yawning. Your kids don't know how to do this? Oh my god, there's a video for this.